Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. In this film, we're going to look at quite a high spec 2017 MTO Sport, only this time it comes with Rotax 915 power. This aircraft comes with a fixed pitch prop, which as you can see is now four bladed, and that's to make the most of the 141 horsepower available for takeoff or 135 horsepower max continuous. And there's a reason we're in a hangar, and that's because this aircraft is also night equipped. So if I turn on the panel illumination, you'll see the effect of that. And actually, aside from some subtle differences, overall, the layout is very, very similar to other 2017 sports, apart from you can see that there's a underneath the airspeed indicator there's a, a fuel flow gauge and we've also got an alarm on the top there for lane A, lane B which is to do with the 915 setup. This aircraft I mentioned was high spec and you'll see that the seating has got this quite nice effect with leather, uh, they're trimmed in leather. We've also got the blanks, well they're not blanks anymore, one's for lumber, the other's for seat heating. You can see in the centre of the panel the Aspen Avionics uh, EFIS, which is quite a nice addition to this, as I said, the high specification aircraft. Also, we've got this battery backup switch, which is again a 915 specific, along with the lane A, lane B, uh, which is alarmed across the top. Illumination wise, you can see we've got all the gauges for uh, engine RPMs, rotor RPMs, uh, engine T's and P's. They're all illuminated on the panel, as you can see there. And um, the other thing to note is there's a dimmer, because obviously everybody has different preferences for how much illumination they actually want. And of course also you don't want to really destroy your night vision at perhaps critical times during the flight. Uh, I'm just powering the aircraft down just to save the battery. And as you can see, as the Aspen powers down also. I'll perhaps make a separate film on that Aspen EFIS because it is an increasingly popular option on auto gyro models. But the crux of this film was really to talk about Rotax 915 power within the 2017 Sport. And again, I'll probably make a separate film on the specifics of the Rotax 915, but as it relates to 2017 Sport, really the main advantage is really climb performance. And you can see with the addition of the four-bladed prop on the fixed pitch variant that it was climb performance that was uppermost in the minds of the company. The other thing that the 915 makes the most of is the new ability of autogyro machines to pre-rotate beyond 300 rotor RPM. With the 912 model, the extra drag of that capability basically dominated the 912 but I don't expect it to dominate the 915 and indeed the company are quoting takeoff performance to clear 50 feet of 660 feet and that's better than double uh, the 914 variant or should I say better than half the, the 914 aircraft requiring more than 1300 feet to clear the same 50 feet as we come to the rear we'll just have a look at some of the packaging details of the 915 this is the intercooler I have to say it looks a little bit odd stuck out on the left hand side of the aircraft. Here's the air filter for the intake side of the turbo but it really is this intercooler that dominates uh, the visuals. We've also got water radiator and then oil cooler stuck down the bottom as is the feature of all sports since the beginning. Over on the uh, right hand side of the aircraft we've got this is a new sort of standard uh, exhaust for the 915 and it's quite a beefy uh, unit. Time before overhauls with 915 at the moment are 1200 hours which is somewhat well it's about 800 hours less than the 2000 you'll see with 912, 914. If we just quickly look at the rear cockpit you can see again we've got this because this is a night uh, equipped aircraft it still has all of the panel lighting for either passenger or instructor and um, 
if I show you actually the the illumination for the panels doesn't happen in the rear at the moment that's just because I haven't got the instructor key that's that's fitted in there if I had got the instructor key then the whole panel will light up just as it would in the front and of course the one thing which is interesting to note as the instructor in the rear if you are using the aircraft in an instructional capability is the fact that you've got the lane A lane B alarms because there's no mag switches like you'd find with 912 or 914. Coming to the weight uh, it's a 560 kilo machine with an empty weight of 308 and that's just reflectant of the fact that the 915 power is about 15 kilos heavier than uh, the 914 uh, 912 unit and it's that kind of penalty which starts to eat into the usefulness of fitting 915 power to a gyroplane. The other element is cost. 915 Rotax costs north of 30,000 sterling in the UK. They also come with a penalty in terms of fuel consumption. Start using all of the power and you're looking at 34, 35 litres an hour. Ah, while I'm at the front, the other thing I've noticed is that landing light. And well, I'll just turn it on, you'll see how bright it is. It's again slightly, there you go, there's the, it's a very powerful LED which complements the lights in the nose. Unfortunately, it's gyroplane, so you tend to operate off regular airfields. And of course, at night, they're all going to be lit anyway. So that's probably going to be more useful either for some operational role or taxiing back to parking. VNE is still 120 miles an hour in the 915 powered variant. And again, that kind of limits the usefulness of paying a premium for 915 power. And when I say premium, it is a premium. This aircraft is retailing at almost 140,000 sterling. Now I know it's got a reasonable avionics set, but that's quite a lot of money. So there you go, 915 power in a 2017 Sport. Fly safely.